Sup y'all, welcome back to another video by me, Dina. OG K-pop stand since 1990. Now, Girls on Top got the beat. Finally has an official dance practice for Step Back. I have been waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm sure the rest of y'all have been waiting as well. Because from my perspective, I really loved Got the Beats Step Back. There was just something very just solid about them. We already know that they are solid idols in general. And we've seen a lot of their talent. But having them all together just felt like a freaking big energy force like a bigger energy force than any kind of sm mix up y'all seen super m so you know point made so um yeah y'all know how i do with dance practices i'll watch it first for the first time uh all the way through no pausing and talking and then i'll watch it a second time where i pause and talk and point out things i like in the choreography so um let me go ahead and zip it and hit the play button to see how the dance practice goes for girls on top step back Quick pause, before we get started, I would like to give a little shout out to all of my Captain Jack Sparrows over my Patreon for the extra X11 support. I hope y'all know how much I appreciate y'all's extraness. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. Alright, let's get it. Nice. Oh, it is so Wendy. Wendy is hitting so freaking hard. Yo, yo. I gotta love Bo in the middle. Yes. Nice, nice. Clean. Mm hmm. Ooh! Sogi's tiny arms. Yes. Okay, Hyoyun. Uh huh, uh huh, Karina, uh huh. Cute, cute. I see that smile. The OGs. Mm hmm. Oof. Man, you can see Sugi's hit through those sweatpants. Yes, angles. Uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. Winter. Uh huh. I love Tan's outfit. It's simple, but it completely fits her effortlessness. Yes, Wendy coming through. Uh huh. I love it. Uh huh. I see you there, Karina, with the wave. Yes. Uh huh, uh huh. Yes. Mm hmm, here we go. Effortless. They make it look so effortless. Yeah, okay, Kyo Young, with your freaking sharpness. Yes. Sugi. Yes. Love it. The fact that they're all on one line is kind of like we can't go anywhere. They have us stopped in our tracks. Like as if they haven't already. I like that rotation while they're doing that. Yes, and the fact that they, I've always loved that the fact that they closed off the choreography with the way they started. Yeah, so 
first of all, that was just hella professional. And the bad ass thing about that is the fact that it's not just OG artists like Boa. It's the rest. It's from first, basically first, second, third, fourth. It's all the generations put together, but all their energies are so matched up. The choreography may not be the hardest, but y'all know what I say here on my channel about simple choreography. Simple choreography doesn't mean that it's easy to do. I, if anything... I mean, you know, to each their own. But whenever I see choreography that's very like subtle, um, the moves are a little bit more simpler. I feel like it gives you a lot more, uh, from my perspective, I feel like that's more stress. Whenever I used to perform and the dance would be a little easier or it would be like just simple moves. It's like, with that being said, Dina, you can't mess up or you can't miss your detail or you can't not execute it right because if it's simple, then... Uh, Where's your execution? Where's your hitting it right? And the girls completely hit it right. And not only hitting it right as far as detail and, you know, matched musicality and all, I loved each of their sassy aura. I saw each of their freaking aura and it's, it's like, I, I need more than one pair of eyes to look at them all, you know, but that, that's what the rewinding and pausing is for. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to watch the choreography one more time and point out the parts I really liked with the formation changes and certain things that the girls did during the member shine. So um, yeah, here we go, seeing it again for the second time. It's such a statement when they're in the same line like that. You're kind of like, I love the the fact that the choreography is hitting it. The, 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 and as they go, they, uh, you know, take, it's in, it's an interesting kind of domino. It's like they kind of break off from the edges and goes to the middle. Usually a domino is like from the front to the back. Like, so from the edge to the middle, it's, it kind of brings our visuals or like our subconscious eyes towards the middle and then it's her turn. So I feel like that's smart. I love the mirroring of the choreography. Uh -huh. Oh, let me see that again. The, uh, arms. I like that. So the back line and the first line, they did their arms together. Like they did the same thing. And then the second line uh, did the opposite. So them, their arms switching as Karina's doing her thing, it just gave a big, like a bigger impact versus them doing it all together at the same time. So yeah, I, I was like, I had to see that again. There was something. Mm -hmm. Boy, she's, I feel like she can do this in her sleep. Yes, let me say that again. Very interesting how, uh, so we have the four here, um, back in the boa. And uh, as they do, there's like this whole part right here, the two on the uh, ends hit the tat, but the two in the middle are still doing their thing. Like just that little bit of separation, more of the 3D effect. Let me try and point it out. It's right here. Boom, tat. Now I'm, see what I mean? Okay, boa. I've always loved this, this whole back and front thing, working together like a duet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sugi is seriously killing me in those sweats. Windy is killing me in general. So you see her freaking hits? All their details, all the freaking wrist breaks, all this and that, like all of them are very even. And the fact that they came from different groups and Boa being a soloist, but they all matched that. I'll never shut up about that because I'm very impressed by that. Mm -hmm. I love that mirroring. That mirroring gives Boa like the pop effect. Mm -hmm. See the legs? So damn even. And they even do that little bouncy thing even. I'll never not notice Sogi's arm here. Look at her freaking arms. All of their arms really, but you can see that she just uh, practiced the hell out of her tutting during her tutting era with Irene. But all the arms, look at Karina. Yeah, and then Karina, yes, yeah, she's like, I got, I know I got this because freaking next level thing. So, okay, that's them. Mm-hmm. Let me see the music how the footwork there. That, 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 that. I see that. I see that. Mm-hmm. I love Hyoyeon's extraness. 
And what I mean by that is right here, whenever they get into the footwork thing, they're definitely matched, right? But you see Hyoyeon's little step, step a little bit more enhanced. Like she's like, this is my shine, I'm gonna shine. Mm -hmm. I can't with Winter and Taeyeon smile each other there. Mm -hmm. Nice mirroring. Yes, and I love that. So first we have Boa and Hyoyeon doing their mirroring thing, which is like literally you can split down the middle and fold. They're mirrored besides their hair color. And the fact that they're connected in that, right? And then we have the two girls coming in and connecting. Mm hmm Yes. Wendy is so sassy. Mm hmm So you see this part. This is the part where the choreography is pretty simple because dun 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 dun. So it gives them their room to also like wiggle room to show their own each swag, if that makes any sense. Like their own style and the way they dance. And I can see it because they move certain like differently, but yet they're still very matched. If you look at their feet, their feet hits the thin, 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 their knee angles, thin, thin, thin. Like that's what I say about the whole simple choreography. Don't underestimate simple moves because it's like, oh, simple, I got it. But why am I not matching the rest? Because you underestimated it. So yeah, I'm I'm just saying you in general. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. I like that, hitting that. Let me see that again. Damn, Boa, like she just came through the middle for like a second, like two counts, and then she's back to the side all bouncy. Another thing I appreciate, because the da -da 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 -da, step back, step back, boom, you hear that sound. So I like the fact that the arms go up in the choreography to help highlight that sound. Because when I first heard the song, that part, the vroom, gave like a bigger impact to what I heard in the chorus. Mm -hmm, okay, Winter. Little badass. Love the mirroring. Uh huh. Little. Okay, I, I like the way Tan did her footwork here. Just something very smooth about the way her footwork moves with the way she did that. Wendy coming through. Did she really just come through for the doom? Okay, Boa. And I love how they're flowing with how her arms, it's like the queen is in control. Mm hmm see? She's even, if you notice this part, like her arms go like this, like the level is lowering. And as she's doing that, the level of the choreography is lowering as well. Queen shit. And then Karina's wave there, I see her. Mm-hmm. Details. And I love this part, how Wendy went off to the side to shine her freaking vocal shine. But yet we have the choreography moving here. I always like, I mean, of course, center means center, right? But whenever I was in graphic design school, we always learned that you need to learn to play with the negative spaces and um, make uh, the viewer's eyes travel versus being stuck in the center all the time. So that's why I appreciate that Wendy went off to do her thing. Yes. Let me see it again. Nice. So remember the beginning how they walked off and I said that they broke off from the edges and went to the middle. Right here, they kind of did the same thing except um, from the out going, it, it went like from the out, middle, or out, near the middle, then to the middle. Like the energy didn't spread out. It went back in this time. I hope everything I say makes sense. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They look like <laughs> these three, seriously. If y'all told me that they just learned this part a minute before filming this part, I would totally believe you because 
That's Sogi, Boa, and Hyoyeon for you. Girls, bring it on. Mm hmm. I like that combo, the step back, step back, step back, but because there's a lot of details and even the angles changes, but it's so uh, clean, their details. Mm hmm. Okay. Gosh, Hyoyeon, I seriously appreciate her freaking details. They're so sharp. See? Again. It's detail. And I like that uh, domino of the arms and that. So uh, Taeyeon, when her arm does that, the way it's like if she had a, let's say a lightsaber. I just watched Book of Boba Fett. So let's say she had a lightsaber, right? And if she did that, none of them would be uh, hit by the lightsaber because the way it Puzzle pieces together, like her angle and the way they all go down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. I see Sugi. I, my eyes can't stop looking at her. Back to the one line, making a bold statement. Mm hmm. Why do I want to join them? Da, da, da. The freaking detail. I want to join them because we are all girls on top. Anyways, let me just get on my fangirl moment there. The choreography, I love it. I feel like it's smart. It's just like how I felt about La Lisa's, or Lisa's La Lisa, because we all know that Lisa's a great dancer, right? But a lot of people were kind of complaining that Lalisa was too simple but I was saying Lisa was making her debut versus here girls on top got the beat they're making their debut as got the beat girls on top and the smartest way to go for people to feel included is to have choreography that others can do I mean and then as they make their statement here then later on they can show harder stuff I always bring up this example every time I talk about simple choreography and tough choreography so uh, back when I was still teaching, th this day I wasn't teaching, I was just taking a break in the studio, but there were two classes going on. There was one class that was called advanced and there was another class that was called beginner intermediate. And the person who was teaching for the advanced didn't have as many students as the one that was teaching the beginner and intermediate. So I remember the teacher that taught the advanced came to me and was like, you know, um, I'm just gonna be honest, my choreography was pretty tough. Like it was pretty hardcore. I'm not sure why this person had more students. A little petty of them to say, I'm not gonna say their name or say anything, I'm just mentioning this story. So when they said that, I was like, well, it's not really about hard choreography. Like we're not here to watch a showcase of you. We're here, or the students are here to learn and be a part of this. So that's why the beginner and immediate have more because it's just like the same view from, from my perspective, it's the same view as trying to get new fans. You don't want, to scare them off. You want to impress them, but also make them feel like a part of it. This whole K-pop thing, this whole K-pop community, I feel like the whole glue of K-pop is just all of us feeling a part of it. Sure, they're idols and sure, we're fans, but we all feel a part of it, like in the same community somehow, like we all feel each other. So this choreography being a little simple, especially for very, very talented dancers like these girls, I feel like the simple choreography just was a nice glue for them as their debut and for us as fans to enjoy something new. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video here with me on my YouTube. I hope you have a great day. And until the next one coming up, peace.